Hi there, this is the first tutorial in a series on making a simple platform game with Blender. First of all, I'm just going to set up some of my uh, settings inside Blender. First of all, right at the top of the screen here, I'm going to set the renderer to use the Blender game renderer, so that my 3D graphics appear as they would inside a game. And I'm also going to change the default layout to the game logic layout, which will allow us to add logic to the object in our game. Okay, so this default cube object here is going to be our player character. Um, I'm not going to do any fancy graphics, I'm just going to use very simple graphics for this tutorial. And the first thing I want to do to this object is just make it a little bit taller. So I'm going to right click to select it, I'm going to press S to scale, and then Z to scale it on only on the Z axis. And now when I move my mouse, you'll see that I can scale this object larger or smaller on the z-axis. Okay, so I'm just going to make it a little bit taller, like so. And I'm also going to rename this object. Now I can open up this little menu here on the right hand side. Um, I can do that by either pressing the little plus symbol that you saw there or pressing the N key on the keyboard. Now this is the properties of this object that we have selected. And you'll see down here, this item is called the cube because it's the default cube object inside Blender. I'm going to change this to player, like so. Okay, next thing I want to do is get this player to move forward when I press the up arrow key on the keyboard. And to do that, I need to use this logic panel down at the bottom of the screen here. Okay, so making sure that I have the player object selected, I'm going to add a keyboard sensor, an AND controller, and a motion actuator, these three objects, okay, and then join them together like so. Just click and drag and join them together. Now the keyboard sensor checks to see if the keyboard has been pressed, so I'm going to set this to detect the up arrow being pressed. So simply click in here and then press the up arrow on the keyboard. Now I want this object, the player object, to move on the Y axis, which is the axis represented by this green arrow here. Um, so over in the actuator setup, you've got three numbers here for location for the X, Y and Z axis. I want it to move on the Y axis in a positive direction, so I'm going to set this to 0 0.1. Okay, so what this means is, when I press the up arrow key, this object is going to move on the Y axis at this speed here. Now I can test that by pressing P for play, and then if I press the up arrow key, you'll see that the player moves in that direction. Now it's a simple enough process to get the character to turn left and right. It's going to minimise um, the sensors and actuators for the moment and add some more. So I'm going to add another keyboard sensor, set this to detect the left arrow key being pressed, and add another controller, join those together, and then another motion actuator. And this time, I want the character to turn around on the z-axis. Okay, so this is the x, y, and z axes for rotation. I'm going to set this to one degree. Okay, so when the left arrow is pressed, the character will rotate one degree on the z-axis. So let's just test that. Press P, and you'll see when I hold in the left arrow key, it moves around anti-clockwise. You can still move forward as well. OK, so finally, we'll just set up the last uh, keyboard control, which is for the right arrow key. And we'll set up a motion actuator to move the character minus one degree on the z-axis. We'll join them together, and you'll see this time that the controller is added in automatically. So that's the control set up for the character in the game. And that's the end of the first part of this tutorial.